Welcome to the lesson on acute coronary syndrome. In this video, we'll discuss acute coronary syndrome, its symptoms, and how to care for it. Acute coronary syndrome, or ACS, is a collection of clinical presentations, including unstable angina, non-ST elevation myocardial infarction, or NSTEMI, and ST elevation myocardial infarction, or STEMI. ACS is classically recognized by one or more of these symptoms. Crushing chest pain, shortness of breath, pain that radiates to the jaw, arm or shoulder, sweating, and or nausea or vomiting. It is important to note that not all individuals with ACS will present with these classic findings, particularly women and individuals with diabetes mellitus. It is impossible to determine a specific cardiac event from the ACS symptoms. Therefore, ACS symptoms are managed in the same way. Every individual with these symptoms should be evaluated immediately. If an individual appears to be unconscious, begin with the BLS survey and follow the appropriate pathway for advanced care. If the individual is conscious, proceed with this pathway. Start with activating EMS. Administer oxygen. Use 4 liters per minute nasal cannula and titrate as needed. Administer aspirin. If there are no allergies, give 160 to 325 milligrams ASA to chew. Avoid coated ASA. Administer nitroglycerin. Give 0.3 to 0.4 milligrams SL per spray times 2 doses at 3 to 5 minute intervals. Do not use if SBP is less than 90 millimeters of mercury. Do not use if phosphodiesterase inhibitor like Viagra has been taken within 24 hours. Administer morphine. Give 1 to 5 milligrams intravenously only if symptoms are not relieved by nitrates or if symptoms recur. Monitor blood pressure closely. 12 lead ECG. Evaluate the individual for MI by ST elevation or depression and poor R wave progression. Use a large gauge intravenously in antecubital fossa. Notify the hospital. Take the individual to a PCI center if probable STEMI. Activate ACS protocol at the hospital. For acute coronary syndrome algorithm, refer to figure 42 in your corresponding ACLS manual. This concludes our lesson on acute coronary syndrome. Next, we'll review acute stroke.